we'll talk about an opportunity and an issue, skills. Huge opportunity in my day job at National Grid, some of the things that Peter was talking about. You know, how do we get the technology skills that we need for the future to handle these enormous energy challenges, the replacing of old energy infrastructure around the world, and the green agenda, an enormous shortage. In my part-time job with, with BITC as well, the agenda that we've got to try and focus the efforts of BITC, but there's a lot of great work around the country on skills, locally and with businesses, to get really focused on a couple of things to make an enormous difference at the moment. There are three areas that that is focused on. Getting businesses to play a more responsible role in the community, with schools, and with local community leaders. The first of those is what we call work inspiration. How do we convert work experience in the UK? It's a fantastic idea to get kids of 13 and 14 to understand what work is all about and to help them very early in their lives to understand the sort of things, therefore, they need to think about in their choices, in their education, at the right time in their career. But our track record is appalling. It's a dull week or a dull two weeks in a business. So how can we turn that into not experience but inspiration? We have an objective this year to get 200,000 kids through an experience in schools in the UK that truly is inspirational for them. That's action number one. And businesses have to play an enormous part in that. Action number two is this bridging of, interestingly, as you well know, the stats are quite frightening. Between 18 and 25 year olds, we have 20% plus unemployed. In fact, in parts of the country, that number is as high as 50% unemployment. We have a bubbling social issue in this country that is going to cost, it's costing us today an enormous amount of money, and it's likely to cost us even more in the future. And part of that reason, of course, is those kids don't have the aptitude nor the right training. So another big piece of activity is around how can we get people who are not in the workplace today into the workplace? Real focused programs, real good guidance from BITC about this is what good practice looks like. This is how you do it. Help facilitate businesses, not just big businesses, but small SMEs as well, to play a part in getting people back into the workplace. The third area of real focus and a passion of mine is we have to work more closely as business with schools. There's a divide that has developed, I was telling Guy about earlier. BITC ran last year the big conversation, which was all around talking with 15 and 16 and 17 year olds about, about business. And one of the most extraordinary bits of feedback that came back from kids at the end of the day, it had a great day, great experience, a lot of fun, lots of bits of feedback, but one consistency was, oh, huh, it's interesting, these people from business aren't quite so bad. Which is quite frightening about well, where, where in their life was this injection of thought that actually business was about bad and not about doing good in life. So a huge issue to try and influence that, and that has to be influenced through head teachers and teachers. So there is an enormous challenge on businesses to rebuild the relationship with schools that used to exist some time ago, actually, particularly a challenge to try and get into the 3,000 secondary schools in the UK and the 500 most challenged, a relationship between local businesses and head teachers. And my passion then, back to my day job, is we need loads of scientists and technologists and engineers. And they're not being provided today. So how can we help the teaching community understand the needs of business in the future? 58% of all new jobs that are going to be created in the UK between today and 2020 require STEM education. Today, we're probably actually qualifying about 17% to the level that, that we need to. So this is a great opportunity and a great challenge that meets as well a social imperative where business just is going to have to play a larger part in meeting its own needs, but helping to ensure that we don't get a generation that is out of work and is incorrectly trained. Thank you.